As a 90s kid, I got exposed to anime at a really young age, through TV of course, because there weren't many other options for entertainment back then, at least in my region. I fell in love with the anime art style and how it's packed with emotions, and its way of storytelling just in general captivated me, and as I was growing up, without realizing I ended up creating a lot of fictional worlds in my head, and I started creating my own characters and giving them plot. I wasn't a great artist of course as a kid, but I still remember drawing original characters from an early age, with whatever skills I had back then. I wrote many stories during my early teen days, but there was one story that just felt different from all the others that I've written because I felt I connected with its characters on a really deep level and it was on my mind most of the time like when I'm on the bus ride to school or coming back home or during class or even during exams like I used to complete answering my exam sheet and then there would be so much free time where you're not allowed to submit the test and not allowed to leave so whenever I was in situations like that where I can't do anything else I just switched to my imagination and start building episode after episode in my head and that was my entertainment which is, spoiler alert, still true to this day but with all this love for the story that I called Wasura Nai back then which means I won't forget in Japanese don't ask me how I got that name despite all the love I had for it I just never saw myself as someone who could be capable of drawing it one day I thought like being a mangaka is like a fantasy or like something way out of my league because I wasn't that good in drawing and there was no one to teach me and the internet was very limited in resources back then so anyway with that I just kept doing what I could do which is sketch my characters but I reached a point where I really wanted to let this story out of my mind in a way or another so one day I was in a situation where I was really bored I had a lot of free time and no entertainment options whatsoever except for a small notebook I grabbed that notebook and I grabbed a pen and I started writing the story episodes page by page by hand <laughs> it was the very first time in my life where I would write page after page without stopping while sketching and doodling on the side I literally couldn't feel the time I enjoyed seeing my story come to life even though it was just a simple and ordinary notebook so that was the stepping stone of the start of this story throughout those years which were from 2007 to 2010 I was heavily using deviant art sharing my art and networking with other artists so I was sharing a lot of artworks for my OCs and people started asking about their stories and I felt a push of motivation that some people were interested to actually know the story behind these characters and that's when I decided to grab my little old notebook and type those chapters and upload them to DeviantArt one by one just as a text format a really messy one actually because I don't consider myself a good writer neither before nor now because I barely read any novels so my writing style was messy and really more like a script and surprisingly people received it nicely like I was a very small artist back then but I had at least 10 active readers which was a huge achievement for a simple person like me so this was how it was going however things kinda went down the drain when I started college I enrolled into a major that was completely irrelevant to art I was studying energy engineering which is basically physics and math and no space for creativity I had so much struggles during the phase I was studying college which dragged out to more years after graduation to the point that I made a whole video to vent this experience out of my system after I chose to quit that path once and for all 4 years ago but I spent 8 years in the engineering path so I was doing art on the side and to be honest I don't know why but when I started my college studies it's like all the creativity and passion I had for my story just went down the drain you know I was going through adolescence I started thinking oh that story was silly it's cringy like I guess a part of me was embarrassed about it because you know I was trying to be a realistic normal professional person of society so yeah those things are for kids I didn't stop drawing through those eight years I just switched to doing illustrations and I was for the most part of it just trying to copy whatever the majority of artists do online which is drawing illustrations of cute girls and fan arts and stuff like that except of course the few times that I used art as an outlet for my emotions but anyway throughout those eight years I abandoned Wasura Nai the story I was really passionate about and I thought that that's it it was a thing I used to do as a child and I'm too old for that now however although I thought I abandoned it 
Apparently, it was still somewhere inside of me. From the years 2011 to 2020, I tried to get back to it at least 5 times. I tried to redesign the characters, I tried to make some illustrations of them, or even little animations, but all of that would be just a temporary phase, and then I end up going back to whatever I was doing. Add to that that I believe that drawing manga is such a hectic job, I would never want to do it. It would need so much skill, so much energy and time, and I thought I wanted to live a normal, chill life. So that was another reason that I kept pushing it around. However, you know how sometimes someone asks you, what's your dream? Whenever I got asked that question, a part that's really deep in my mind and heart would just bring up a picture of Wasura and I in my head. And I always felt like that was my real dream that I let go of. I didn't want to admit it, but I realized lately that it was always there. It was never gone. If there was one thing I wanted to do in life, it is to draw this story. So flash forward to 2019, where I reached the peak of my career confusion. Thankfully, my life situation changed by the end of that year, and I quit engineering for good because I decided I wanted to be a full-time artist. So I went back to what I was doing the prior years, again, drawing cute illustrations of girls and stuff like that. But I reached a point where I was like, I just don't enjoy drawing anymore. Like I don't know what to draw, I would just stare at the blank canvas, go look up countless references of Pinterest, and then I try to create something, and it doesn't end up being that good anyway. Cause there was no way for me to compete with professional artists who do this out of passion, while I'm just doing it because I'm trying to be like everyone else is. And personally, I'm not a detail-oriented artist, I just don't have for the life of me the patience to draw so much details in one artwork. I just don't have that. I tried so many times and failed because I don't want to do it. So once again, I was left with the choice of what do I want to do now? And by that time, I felt like it's either I quit drawing for good or go back to the real actual dream that I've been wanting to do since I was a kid. Go back to the thing that my heart and mind really desire. Those thoughts started coming to me in 2020 and the real spark that finally made me take the decision was exposing myself to webtoons. So in that year, many webtoons were getting anime adaptations and no jokes, my biggest dream is to have an anime out of my story but of course that is not feasible for one person to do. But anyway, when I saw that, webtoons exist and that is sort of a path to getting an anime one day. I got filled with excitement and I downloaded the webtoon app and I started reading and checking webtoons one after the other and I got filled with inspiration and I felt like oh my god I finally found the medium that I want to draw my story as because throughout the years when I abandoned my story a part of the equation was that I don't know which medium to go for. I enjoy reading manga but I don't enjoy drawing it because working in black and white is not a thing for me. I love colors so much and I wrote a really long story. I was thinking of making it into a visual novel game, but I thought that that's not the best way to express the story with all of its action, drama, fantasy elements. So finding webtoons and seeing myself that I could do one, having accumulated a lot of experience in digital art for more than 10 years, so I felt I was ready to do it art-wise. And story-wise, you know how I said earlier that the story felt silly? Well, since I grew up and accumulated a lot of life experiences as well. I went back to the story and I re-looked into it by rewriting whatever felt silly and developing an actual backstory to each of the character and a deep overarching story and as I was doing that I got filled with excitement and once again I came back to draw the character sheets of my characters but this time with designs that I will actually use in the story and when 2021 started I said, I'm gonna start right now, there's no going back. Even if I'm not that good, I'm just gonna draw the story. <laughs> I waited and procrastinated enough on it. So I started drawing the first chapter and that chapter took me like 2-3 to three months to finish because drawing a webtoon comes with a big learning curve so I took my time acquiring the knowledge and then the second chapter took a month to finish and I got better and quicker with time. But the thing I promised myself back then is to just do, you know, just move forward, don't go back. Even if there are mistakes, even if you're not satisfied with what you're doing now, just move forward, no fixing. That's the only way I could make progress with this really long story. And now, flash forward, 3 years later, I have drawn 28 chapters so far, and I have compiled the chapters so far into 2 manga volumes, basically redesigning the webtoon to a book format, which had of course its own struggles and learning curve. But making a book out of my story was a thing I think I wanted to do from the start. 
As a teenager, I had a vision that one day I would see my manga volume in a bookshop somewhere in the world and that vision never left my head so it was only natural for me to want to, you know, convert the webtoon and print it as a book because I want to hold this story in my hands. And thankfully, I can say that now I'm on the right path to make that vision come true. I've been self-publishing both my webtoon and books and of course there's so much to say about that but in order not to make the video longer than it is already I just want to say that ever since the switch that I took I had absolutely no regrets in starting to draw this story it took me 15 years there was of course a lot of wasted time and I could have started earlier but I decided not to regret that just move forward and be happy with how far I could come Honestly, choosing to start drawing entwined was one of the best choices I took in my life because now I feel overflowing with passion and I can hardly stop drawing right now because I just want to progress more and more in the story. The passion is so overflowing that there are thousands of readers literally waiting every day for a new update of entwined so that just reassures me that I am on the right path because I believe that when you practice doing something that you're so passionate about there is a spark that just shows in your work and now when I'm asked what's my dream I can finally say that I'm living it and I don't want to abandon it ever again if my story has moved you in a way or another I would really appreciate you giving Entwined a try and if you enjoy it then it would mean the world to me if you support me on this journey right now I'm kickstarting the second volume and there's a little bit more than two weeks before the campaign ends you can get both of my books at a 20% discount during the campaign period I want to thank every single person that has supported me from the deviant art days to where I've become now. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Thank you for motivating me to continue pursuing my dream. And lastly, thank you to you guys for watching this video.